Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. We are winding down our time with the Motorola Droid 4. We've actually, what, we did a hands-on a month ago at CES, so we didn't want to do like a whole new one here at the beginning. Uh, a few final quick thoughts on this excellent, excellent keyboard. If you haven't gotten to play with it yet, this is probably one of the best keyboards I've ever used on a smartphone. The keys have just enough travel to them just enough clickiness, you can't hear it, they're laser cut, whatever that is, um, and if I can get it dark enough here again, it's, it can be a little tough. They light up all along the edge that's up in here, and then the uh, characters themselves are backlit. Really, really, really nice keyboard. My only real issue with it, the secondary functions here, the ones you see in yellow, punctuation, the microphone, stuff like that. Normally you would see like a little yellow button to clue you in that that's what you need to hit first to get to those secondary features. To do it on the Droid 4, you have to use shift and then hit it, so just be aware of that. You get used to it quickly enough, but it was something I wasn't quite expecting. Uh, sliding mechanism, very, very nice as Motorola is prone to do. You see the uh, home screen, the UI will rotate as well when you extend the keyboard or slide the screen up, whichever you want to call it, so that's good. Motorola's done well there. The rest of the overall feel is really nice. You've already seen the uh, video where we show you how to remove the battery cover with the little tool. It's a little crazy, but it works. It's fine. No removable battery. That's the only sad thing. Uh, camera's not bad. Power button's up top. Ports are over here. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And it's a Motorola phone, right? It's solid. It feels good. It's fast enough in the UI. Uh, really the one disappointing thing about this phone is the display. It's got a blue tint to it, which uh, we note is different than the Droid Razor Max, which has a yellowish tint. I think I like this blue tint better, but it's still just not a great screen. I'm not sure how well you can see it here. Oh yeah, you can definitely see. Uh, the whole thing just kind of dims a little bit when you start getting motion. I'm sure that's by design, but it looks weird. So watch this uh, widget here, and as you quickly flip through it, everything dims and then it comes back up once it's in place looks odd and you really get the uh, pin tile kind of checkerboard effect I call it when you see that I'm tired of uh, pin to dial <laughs> I know I've given it a pass uh, previously but I'm really sick of it it's a QHD display so I'm also used to a uh, 720p displays now and it's really time for Motorola to catch up there but otherwise except for the display that's really my one big knock otherwise solid phone good data speed decent battery life although you can't remove the battery again unfortunate but all in all, this keyboard is really what makes it a phone, and it's just really, really nicely done by Motorola. So that's about it for the Droid 4. On to the next one. See you later.